Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about modern quality assurance in clinical research. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Contrary to popular misconception, QA is different from quality control QC. While quality assurance ensures that there are standard quality rules and procedures in place, quality control ensures that processes and projects are executed according to these established rules and requirements. Simply put, QA is the big picture and QC is the day-to-day -day execution. Auditing is just one component of QA, and it's vital to understand that a robust QA system means fewer QC interventions. A good QA system not only identifies mistakes, but also provides insights into preventing them in the future. What is the changing landscape of quality assurance? In the last 20 years, three significant changes in QA have been. 1. Adoption of modern technologies. This encompasses using advanced applications and systems in auditing. 2. Remote audits. The ability to perform audits remotely, especially given the current global scenario, is crucial. 3. Data analytics in auditing. Leveraging data analytics helps in making more informed decisions during audits. The introduction of electronic informed consent, especially, poses a challenge. The electronic signatures on tools like smartphones differ from traditional signatures, making it harder for auditors to determine their authenticity. How does auditing in the modern era look like? The way audits are conducted has evolved. Instead of merely reading through processes, auditors now engage in asking questions to understand compliance better. This shift is especially noticeable in system audits. The emphasis is on understanding processes and ensuring that they align with the set standards. An auditor's soft skills, like communication and empathy, play a pivotal role. An auditor who can communicate effectively and empathize with the auditee will likely gain more comprehensive and accurate insights. Let us have a look at the different types of audits. Audits can be categorized into four main types. 1. System audit, which focuses on system or processes set up. 2. Project Compliance Audit, which reviews the compliance at any stage of a clinical study and could include any kind of stakeholder involved. 3. Clinical Site Audit, which focuses on the review of site performance. And finally. 4. Vendor Audit, which focuses on the vendor compliance and performance. And let us not forget, all audit types could be either on-site, remote, or hybrid. In order to be prepared for the regulatory authority inspection, the mock inspection is also used as a QA tool to verify inspection readiness. What is the role of risk management in QA? Implementing a quality risk-based approach is crucial. It helps auditors prioritize what needs checking, ensuring that they focus on what's essential for study outcomes. Effective root cause analysis and a robust corrective and preventive action process further enhance the QA system. However, communication remains the key. The ability to convey findings, insights, and recommendations effectively can make a significant difference. In conclusion, the world of quality assurance is evolving. With new technologies and methodologies coming into play, Auditors must adapt and equip themselves with the necessary skills and mindset. The focus should shift from merely identifying mistakes to preventing them in the future, emphasizing a consultancy approach over a controlling one. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.